Hey there, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we gonna solve exercise problem 4-7. On your computer screen, you can see the simulated model of a production system. And let's see uh, what is the problem statement of the said problem. And then we jump back to the arena home screen. So let's move to the word board for reading the case study. Okay, so here you can see the problem. Uh, 4-7 days a proposed production system that actually consists of five serial automated workstation. The processing time at each workstation are constant that is 11, 10, 11, 11 and 12 and all times are mentioned in minutes. The parts inter arrival times are uniformly distributed with its parameter value and there is an unlimited buffer in front of all workstation. And we will resume that all transfer time are negligible for or zero. The unique aspect of this system is that a workstation 2 through 5, there is a chance that part will need to reprocess by the workstation that proceeded. And it follows the probability distribution the same for all the four workstation that will lie between 5 and 10%. So we need to develop a simulation model and make 6 run of 10,000 minutes each for probabilities 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 percent. So using the result construct a table or uh, to find the average cycle time against the probability of a revisited. Okay, so let's move to the arena home screen and let's build the model. Okay, so here you can see the model of the set problem. So at first you need to add the create module and its entity type is parse and the time between arrival is exponential uh, uh, is sorry uniformly distributed and how we can add the expression simply select the type as expression and here right click build expression then under this window Click this random distribution and select the uniform distribution. This one and add the parameter values there. Okay, so add uh, change the units time that is in minutes and set the other parameter that is shown on your screen. Okay, then add an other uh, module, arena module, and this module is the process module and uh, rename it as the workstation one and add a resource that is a machine 1 unit to seize value is 1 and its delay type is constant and its value is 11 as precise in the problem then add an other workstation that is workstation 2 and here rename the resource as machine 2 and its constant and its delay type is constant and its unit is in minutes and its value is 10 and after that we need to accomplish the revisited process in that case you need to add the design module into the arena workplace and here uh, rename it uh, the design module as reprocess at station 1 and its percentage value is 5 right now and then connect this true node into the workstation 1 okay and then its file node is moved to the workstation 3 and here uh, rename the process as workstation 3 and the resource is machine 3 and its delay type is constant and its time unit is 11 minutes and then again uh, add the decide module and in this case this reprocess at station 2 so this two node is actually connected to the this workstation 2 input side right and its fall node is connected to the workstation 4 and here you can see the resource uh, is machine 4 and its uh, processing time is 11 minutes that is constant and then add an again decide module or rename it as reprocess at station 3 and its percent value is again 5 so right now i am building the model at percentage 5 then we can uh, we have to actually repeat the model with probability percentage value of say 7 8 9 and 10 as precise in the problem and its true node is connected to the workstation 3 you can clearly see on your screen 
and its false node is connected to the workstation 5. So rename the process at workstation 5 at the last machine that is machine 5 and its processing time is 12 minutes. And then again add the desired module for revisiting the reprocess at station 4 and its again percentage value is 5%. And then its true uh, node value is connected to the workstation 4, right? And its false node is connected to the complete process and you can say as the dispose module. Okay, so the model is now ready. Now let's move to the animation. Uh, panel and uh, for adding the animation you need to uh, revisit or visit the resource under the animate toolbar and here uh, you need to open the current library that is machine.plb and you can find this library at this address and it is actually installed in C and here uh, you need to open the machines.plb file Okay, so after opening it, uh, simply add the machine for each identifier as machine 1, 2 and up to machine 5 and then simply place it on the working area. And if you want to uh, learn about how we can animate the different things under Arena on screen, you can uh, visit uh, the link available in the description for uh, understanding or learning this animation pattern okay so after adding the machine you need to uh, move uh, your cues to these machine places so that you can view the simulation all right now let's move to the run panel and under the setup here the number of replication value is one and the replication length is in 10,000 minutes and the base units again in minutes and then simply click ok. So our model is now ready with probability of 5%. So let's run it and let's see what turns out under the result report menu. So here you can see the entities come into the system and these are processing through workstation 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, so you can also see under the basic process man panel under this entity spreadsheet, I'm assigning the initial picture as picture dot uh, drain ball. Okay, so there are some other uh, bunch of information that is available. That is the under queue spreadsheet, you can see first in first out for the type against each uh, workstation queues and this resource spreadsheet that, uh, showing the machine 1 to 5 with its capacity value as 1. Okay, that's it. So let's fast forward the simulation to view the result. It's done. So simply click this yes button. And this uh, solution report showing you the information for all manufacturing process system uh, simulation for entity processes uh, use and the resource so you can simply go through it on your own okay so i am actually summarized the required result that is mentioned under the case problem uh, of set exercise 4-7 so you can see the result for probability value 5 percent is 72.357 is the average cycle time and the maximum cycle time is 118 similarly you can see if we change the revisit probability value as 6 7 8 up to 10 and these are the stats that was required for the simulation model so how you can change it simply uh, move to this decide module and here you can see the percent true value is 5 percent for each of the decide module simply double click on it and type 6 and then again double click on it and type 6 again double click on it and change its value to 6 and again double click on it and change its value to 6 so in this way you can run your model uh, for uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 percentage value and then you can summarize the finding as precise in the problem so it's all about for today tutorial if you want uh, these kind of videos uh, more uh, consider subscribing thank you